Well, the rain may be gone right now, but all eyes remain on local rivers this week. And as the fears of flooding still lingers, I would assume reporter Marilyn Cher has the details from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom in Cranston. When the water level in the river is as high as it is right now and extremely close to spilling over the edge, you can imagine how nearby businesses and residents panic. Well, we spoke with one resident who says the weather and the rain right now is a big part of his everyday life. Look at, look at, oh, see, you can see where the border is. Weber Amaral of Cranston says the threat of the Patuxent River overflowing and flooding his home is real and worrisome. Well, I was very concerned for, for a little while because um, the river just kept getting higher and higher and higher. The home Weber rents is within feet of the river. It was halfway underwater during the historic floods. Every time it rains, a small pond forms in the yard. It came real close to flooding again several times this spring. Days in a row. I mean, we've had, what, seven inches of rain in, in 17 days, or what is it, 14 days? Ooh, you're like a meteorologist. Oh, I watch the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Petraka, I hope. Absolutely. <laughs> the veterinarian technician is a realist. Just in case, he moved his things off the basement floor to higher ground. He keeps his sense of humor. I think I've been spared this time. Mm -hmm. This time it came really close, though. But, I mean, if they built this house any closer to the river, it would have been an aquarium. Amaral and his two dogs, Peanut and Cindy, say they're taking no chances. He tells me he's in touch with his land. Landlord who keeps him alert and prepared. Reporting with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shara, Eyewitness News.